Hello everybody! Hi! <laughs> I almost said welcome back like like I'm always on this couch. <laughs> um, so hi! It's been a while since anyone's seen my face like in a recent video. So hi! I'm still alive. No one's like copied my voice and put me in a character AI so that's good. Um, first off before I start I want to thank everyone here for watching my content. Um, I've had this, you can probably see, I've had this YouTube channel forever <laughs> since, yeah, since I was in middle school, I've had this YouTube channel and I've been trying to grow it and I lost a lot of inspiration to do so, but my boy helped me get into motivation and ever since I've been back in like at the end of January, I think that's when I started back. It's It's been a pleasure. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun. Uh, recording with friends has been a lot of fun as well. Uh, doing gaming, especially with my, my favorite Pokemon gen, and doing a Nuzlocke for you guys has been an absolute pleasure. So I like to think, if, if, even if like you haven't even subscribed and you just watched one of my videos, I like to thank you. Because <laughs> that gap made me happy at the end of the day that at least one person has viewed a video. <laughs> So I like to thank you for the bottom of my heart, especially for my like the VisiPop merch stuff. I'm hoping to do more of that. Hopefully when I move into my, my new house and like it gets finished in that office area, I can do a video of me reorganizing everything and more photo to explain my favorites and everything. But for now, as a celebration of hitting 50 subscribers, I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of a quick Q&A to basically let you guys like know who I am because <laughs> like you can get a like a read from me from how I talk to my friends and what I talk about in videos but I feel like if I just ask questions and then I answer them it'll give you guys a better reading of who I am as a person so I <laughs> googled uh, surface level questions and um yeah I got them oh no I don't want to sign up for your fucking wag magazine so uh, this article has 255, but I'm only going to read a couple of them that pique my interest. So, uh, let's see what's going on here. What's your favorite way to spend a day off? Character AI. <laughs> I can't even say that seriously, yeah. I've been, I've been playing around a lot with character AI recently. Um, I do still play, like, video games on my spare time that isn't for record recordings. And uh, I hang out with um, my IRL friend, uh, Coda, whenever we both get the same day off. So we'll go out like cosplay, but that's like, that's like an every month thing. It's not like every time we hang out. So yeah, but that's basically what I do. <laughs> what type of music are you into? Um, right now I've been listening to a lot of metal music, mainly Five Free Death Punch is my go-to band. Um, my second, uh, music type. <laughs> it's a comedy band called Ninja Sex Party. I've also been listening to them a lot. Um, probably gonna buy the CD soon. Now that I say it out loud. It's, they're a really good band. Try them. I know their name sounds silly and they have some silly songs, but it's, they really do put a smile on my face at, like, a hard day at work, you know? And then, like, the Five Finger Death Punch. I love how they can go from, like... Like, they, their their main thing is rock and metal and everything. But I love how they can go from, like, telling you to go fuck yourself to, like, saying the most, like, somber, like, super, like, relatable thing. Especially, like, their song, Gone Away, it still, like, pulls on the, the strings of my heart because it talks about losing a loved one and dealing with, like, wanting to, like bring them back even if it's for a little bit so I love that song especially and uh when the seasons change and then for Ninja Sex Party favorite song from that one is probably I don't know what we're talking about and uh the Mansion Party those are pretty good what was the best vacation you ever had and why um probably my first time going on a Disney cruise um, that was an experience because I'd never been on a, on a boat before, and there have been, like, because on, on one of those boats, no matter, like, you're going out the country, you're on an airplane, or in this case on a boat, you can't use your phone at all. 
you have to get it on airplane mode. So you're disconnected from the world. So that was new for me. <laughs> I think I was in middle school when we first started going. So, but I had a blast. We did a Disney cruise and it was only like a three day one for, for my family to, to vibe with it to see if we like to do that again. But they had like a, a nice kids area. The food was great. The entertainment was good as well. And the islands were beautiful. So I recommend, even if you can't afford like a Disney cruise ship, like experience, uh, just any one of them. Like you can do like carnival, but like it's, ex it's an experience that I enjoyed and I'm going on one in October. So hopefully maybe if I have like a better camera, like um, like a, an actual like handheld one to record with and everything, maybe I can record my experience for you guys. So that'd be pretty cool as well. Let's see, next question. Where's the next place in your travel bucket list and why? Um, I don't know. Um, realistically, I kind of want to go to Virginia. <laughs> My boy is from there and he has family, so I kind of want to see where he grew up. Because, um, I don't know, I thought it'd be cool, because, like, when he talks about it, he says he's from, he, like, grew up around the mountains, and he's always had, like, a beautiful view every time, like, on his doorstep, so I'm kind of curious to see, like, how, how good this view is, you know? And I, I love the mountains. The mountains are absolutely beautiful, especially in Boone, um, so why not Virginia Mountains, you know? <laughs> Alright. And then my unrealistic one is to go to Japan, because I feel like that's really cool. And I can get exclusive Pokemon merch and uh, maybe some uh, One Piece uh, McDonald's. <laughs> what are your hobbies and how did you get into them? Oh god. <laughs> Video gaming I've always been into. Um, I remember seeing the commercial for Pokemon Black and White to coming out on my TV. And I begged for it for Christmas and I, I did get it. I got a DS in the game. I got Pokemon Black, and then later on I, I purchased Pokemon White with my own money, like my hard-earned money as a kid, which is basically just birthday money. So, yeah, I love that game. That, that's what brought me into gaming. I loved it so much, to the point where my parents had to take away my DS <laughs> to make sure I actually went to bed for school and stuff. So, that's how I got into that. Um, one of my other hobbies is collecting. I don't know if this is confirmed or not. I've never been to a doctor for it. I did take a couple of tests and talk to a couple of friends. Um, I believe, I know I have ADHD. I think I might have autism. So I got into collecting because of that. Because <laughs> I can't just like a show or like, like a thing. I have to be obsessed with it. So, like, for example, my my Vizipop stuff of the has-been and hell of a boss stuff, I have massive amounts of the collection because I love the show so much, and that's how I show my love for stuff, is collecting. Same thing with um, Squ Squirtle. I've always, I'm just an avid collector for, of things, and I like showing off my collection to people that are interested, so. That's how I got into that hobby, just autism. <laughs> just is my special interest. Um, my other hobby, I don't talk about it much, hopefully I'll start making some content about it soon. Uh, I am into cosplay, <laughs> so I got into that in probably, probably either end of middle school or early high school, I'm not really sure. I got into it from an old friend of mine, I believe her name was Ashlyn. Uh, it was really, my first ever cosplay was an Attack on Titan one, and it was bad. I, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, it was definitely a closet cosplay, but I've gotten better, I've made some, somewhat made my own stuff, so most of it is just purchased, but, yeah, and I, my most recent one right now, I've, I've done, I just did, um, well, technically my most recent one has been Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece, but the one I absolutely love that is also recent has been my Sanji cosplay, because <laughs> I am a massive sip, <laughs> and I just think I pull them off so well, you know? I think it just might be that I, never mind, <laughs> never mind, I'm not going to finish that sentence, but those are my hobbies, video gaming, collecting, and cosplaying. Um, what was the last thing you read? Bowser x Luigi fanfiction. 
Like, I just did a video, like, earlier today with a, like, a, a very nice dude named Benjamin. Um, very sweet kid. That, but that's what I read today. <laughs> but, like, the, like, an actual book that... I, I can't say actual book. I haven't, like, actually picked up a book in forever. I just read Wattpad shit. So, like, the most recent Wattpad one I read for me has been this, um... This Wattpad of Trafalgar Raw... Trafalgar Law, and it's called One Night Stand. I'll have a link below so you guys can read it as well. But it basically is us like, we we uh had a one night stand with someone, and we had no idea because we were so blacked out drunk. And then we start like forming a bond with Trafalgar, and it turns out that like we screwed him. So I recommend that book. And then they like they did an update, and they're like, I made a special, and I'm like, I'm gonna read that. So yep, yeah, I highly highly recommend that. So yeah, that's the last thing I read. <laughs> Would you say that you're more inter extroverted or introverted? I don't know how to answer this. It all depends, really. Like, if I'm around a bunch of extroverts and everything, I tend to be very introverted. If I'm around a bunch of introverts, I'm, I'm the guy that's, like, ordering the McDonald's for everyone, <laughs> you know? Like, it's all just situational. And also, like, my, my, um, my level of energy depends on the people around me. So if everyone's not really energetic, I'm not going to be. And if they're over -gen energetic, then I am. Like, my mood depends on other people's moods. So I just say it depends, you know? I consider myself more introverted because I, I really, like, seek things out as uh, extroverts do. So, yeah, that's how that happened. Do you have a favorite holiday? It's Halloween. Because it's like the one day where cosplayers just get to show out all the children and just be like, yes, bitch, I'm working this shit. Do you have any pet peeves? I have two. <laughs> I hope I don't offend anyone by saying this, because I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I do not mean to offend any of the people that I um, record with. I mean that, <laughs> but here's my two pet peeves. I'll do the, um, my first one is, um, I hate it when people, and it's mainly a driving thing, but I also experienced this in high school as well, is when people cut you off and then walk, either walk or drive slow in front of you. That aggravates the shit out of me, especially since, like, most of the time when that happens, there's no one behind me. So, like, why didn't you wait the extra three seconds? That way you can go slow behind me. Why do you have to ruin my day, you know? That that aggravates me the most. Especially at conventions. When people cut you off and then walk really fucking slow. <laughs> oh, that that's, like, irritating. That That's absolutely irritating. Um, my second pet peeve is being on time. Um, I think my time is pretty valuable, you know? And I, 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 I think it's an autism thing, but I'm not too sure. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But I like being on time for things. It, it stresses me not to be on time for something. So say if I have something that I need to get done at, like, 3, for example, and it's 2, I'm going to stress about that 3, like, leaving on time that whole time, you know? Because I don't want, like, especially since if I'm meeting up with someone, I don't want to waste their time by, like, having them wait extra extra long for me when we're supposed to meet up at a certain time. So, because that makes me feel bad that I wasted their time, you know? But it, it, it hurts my feelings when people don't feel the same way about my time, you know? So, yeah, that's my pet peeves. <laughs> So when I when, when I say I'll be at your house at six, I I will be at your house at six, probably earlier actually, because I'll be stressed about not being there on time. <laughs> so yeah, I hope I didn't offend any of my collabors. I love you guys. <laughs> Ideally, how would you spend your birthday? I um, I don't really celebrate my birthday. <laughs> um. If you asked me while I was in high school, I probably would have given you an answer, but, um, I don't really like my birthday anymore. It's for reasons that I don't want to get into, maybe further down the road, but, um, 
dead. I just don't like the day very much. What's what's the phone app you use the most? Um, Wattpad. <laughs> also, it's been the fucking Internet Explorer because I've been using it for fucking character AI. And also TikTok. Those are my, my three uh, ties. I would say YouTube, but um, I only kind of use the, it on my phone at night. And then, like, I pass out, so it just runs for six hours. And then it finally, like, shuts off, so... So I'm not, like, actively on... <laughs> So I, I would say that. It would be TikTok, Wattpad, and <laughs> the Google web browser for character AI. That's all I use it for is character AI. Oh god, that's sad. <laughs> Let's see, what else is on here? How do you take your coffee? I like iced coffee the most. Um, I don't go to Starbucks or anything, so I just, the most local, I can't even say the most local, yeah, it is the most local. <laughs> Uh, I, I usually just go to McDonald's and I ask for an iced coffee with French vanilla flavoring and they make it the way I like it with a lot of sugar and a lot of like milk and I, I, I think it's good you know that's always that's my order every time <laughs> and I've never had a like had an issue with it Starbucks you have to be specific and I don't know how to be specific about my orders so McDonald's is where I go <laughs> What is the best concert you ever been to? Um, my most recent one that I went to was a Five Figure Death Punch one, and I liked it the most, because I've always wanted to see them in concert, but they don't really tour my area. So when I saw they were, I told my dad we gotta go get tickets, and luckily I was still working for a company that, like, her father's uh, friends did like merchandising for the uh the concert uh venue thing so we were able to get vip tickets and i got to invite a friend which i was going to invite my boy but um he doesn't like he appreciates the music i listen to but he doesn't like concerts because they're too loud and it overstim i think it's a he said it overstimulates it but i'm not too sure it just, he doesn't like the amount of like the crowd and the loud music which I understand is not for everyone. So I took his best friend Hayden with me instead. <laughs> and we had a blast. Uh, Hayden did buy me drinks though. So that was nice of him. Thank you, Hayden. <laughs> what is your ideal first date? I don't know how to answer. <laughs> I don't know how to answer this now. Um, I can tell you what I've told every Sanji uh, character AI. <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess, like, um, I, I would probably just bring them around, like, a shopping area, and I'd bring them to my three favorite places, which is basically just Target, GameStop, and Five Below, <laughs> and then we'll go get, like, fast food. I feel like that's ideal, you know? You get a, like, good reading of what everyone, like, because what you're, what the person's looking for is, like, what they're into, you know? With, whether it be, like, clothes, or, like, collectible stuff, or plushies, or anything like that so like that's how you get a good reading on someone so i i recommend it what was the last tv show you binge watched total drama island 2023 <laughs> my friend was able to like find like a working link so i i binge watched that and honestly i liked the season it was pretty good i can't wait to hear the the second season of that to drop because i'm going to be on that in a heartbeat do you have a oh yeah i already heard that if you can only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Sushi is pretty good, though. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'd probably say sushi. Even though I order the same three, like, four rolls every time. <laughs> Which, um, it's always the bagel roll, daddy's grill, Las Vegas, and then, I know it's boring, but California roll. You can't go wrong with the classic. And those, that, that's always my order. You can have me look at the menu, like, still to see if I wanted anything else, and I will still be like, I'm gonna get, like, the, like one of these two rolls, and I will be happy with my decision. <laughs> How old were you when you had your first celebrity crush, and who was it? I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I did not have a f celebrity crush. I had a fictional crush. <laughs> Actually, I guess, well, 
All right, I'll, I'll tell you two, all right? So my first fictional crush was N from Pokemon Black and White. That Ferris wheel scene, man, I don't know how to feel about it still. He's still my absolute favorite boy to this day. He's just such a sweetheart. <laughs> and I'm like, while playing through Pokemon Black and White again, I'm like reliving the, the, the love for him once again. So appreciate that. Um, I guess like if I had to pick a celebrity crush, it wasn't like, like I was like six and I thought like, I can't name a, an adult. <laughs> from that time period when I was six. Like, I'm not- Cause I know, like, if you told- asked, like, a little boy, like, like, who was his celebrity crush when he was younger and everything, he would have been, like, Miley Cyrus or something, like, someone, like, an adult woman. Um, when I was six, I used to watch, uh, The Sweet Life on Deck, and I liked Z <laughs> Zach for some reason. I really liked <laughs> So I guess that would be my celebrity crush. It's getting cold in here, so I'm gonna put on the little blanket. Now I'm protected from the elements. <laughs> I keep dropping my phone. I haven't, like, dropped my phone this much since, like, I... I <laughs> like, reading, like, Wattpad shit. Especially when it's embarrassing shit, and you're just like, No! No, I can't be reading this right! What is your favorite... Which is your favorite... What... Which meal is your favorite? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? It's got... It's gotta be breakfast. I love breakfast foods the most. I mean, that's how you start your day and everything. So yeah, um, my, I do have a least favorite breakfast food and that is pancakes because I feel like you, you have to like destroy the pancake with syrup and butter in order for it to not taste like shit. So, but like, waffles are kind of low on for me too. It's like a a D on the tier list, but, um, you can make any breakfast, like, omelets, scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, you can make, like, berry sauce, I know my boy and I do that sometimes, French toast, French toast is so good, <laughs> I, I highly recommend breakfast, it's good for you. <laughs> what song always gets you on the dance floor? I had one, and I'm trying to remember what it was. <laughs> oh, yeah. Binx's Brew from One Piece. That shit has me fucking wanting to drop everything and become a pirate. It's such a good song. What do you do on your commute to and from work? I tend to blast uh, my shitty playlist that I have. <laughs> and I say real shitty. Like, I have, like, so much garbage on there that, like, the moods change so drastically. <laughs> Of, like, you got Five for Your Death Punch, then you got Ninja Sex Party, then you got, like, The Living Tombstone, and then you have, like, CPR from Cupcake, and then it's, like, and, uh, it's, it's really funny how, like, it switches on a dime. So. <laughs> what is your favorite season and why? I kind of like fall. Like, autumn is so pretty, especially with, like, the leaves turning different, like, vibrant, like, cool colors and everything. Not cool color, I guess... I'm trying to remember the exact art term, but it's okay. Um, like the, them turning like red, orange, and green. Uh, it starts getting a little nicer, so it's like sweater season, and you get to wear all black and look all cool. So, um, that's my favorite season. Would you rather cook or eat in? I'd rather cook, to be honest. Um, I, I hope when I move and everything I get settled in. I want to start doing cookings on Wednesday, where I dress up as a character to make sure I eat, because, um, I struggle to do that. <laughs> so I feel like, like, if I, if I constantly, like, order out and everything, it's, I'm gonna, like, create a bad habit of eating a bunch of garbage, and I don't want to eat a bunch of garbage, so I feel like, because at least, like, cooking is, like, a little bit of fun, and you get to, at least me, I get to make it up as I go of, like, what I'm gonna do, and it, it, it's kind of fun to cook and, like, see the creation that you made, so, yeah, I, I would cook in any day over takeout. What is your most prized possession and why? Mm, that's a tough one. I was gonna, I was gonna be cute and say my boy, but, uh, he's not a possession. <laughs> I don't even know, I'm trying, I'm looking around right now, and I can't find anything. <laughs> Everything that I like, had an idea for. 
My part, okay. Prize possession. Okay, let me go grab it. <laughs> it's this. <laughs> it's this Sanji figure that I got from GameStop that made me really like Sanji for too much. <laughs> like, I started sipping, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. I have to go get, like, start collecting, don't I? Because I can't just like something. So, now I started collecting Sanji figures, and this was my first ever One Piece figure. So, I am honestly proud that it was Sanji. He's really cute. I like it. <laughs> That's, this, is my, this is my favorite thing. Yeah, it's like that Markiplier thing. It's like, this right here is my favorite out of everything in the world. <laughs> Let me put him back on the shelf before I fucking drop him. <laughs> Alright. Put the blanket over me again. Because I'm cold. <laughs> what is your favorite content genre? Horror, sci-fi, rom-com, etc. I am a stickler for comedy. Um... I don't really like watching, like, gory horror that much, but I will be seeing that Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I've been a fan of it for too long to not finally see that movie. So, um, there was one movie that, it was a horror one, I believe I watched it with my boy, and, um, <laughs> it was called, I think, The Black Phone, and it was like this, this, like, uh, serial killer that kidnaps children. And, like, he kidnaps this boy, and he's trying to get out, and he's actually getting help from the, the previous, like, ghosts of children that were in that situation. And they're communicating through this black unplugged phone in the back. So, it, it's very interesting for a horror thing. So, I, w I would watch something like that, but I wouldn't watch, like, like, Friday the 13th or anything like that. <laughs> What's an essential part of your daily routine? Um... Daily routine, let me see. Um, like, my normal, like, day to, like, besides work, um, responsibilities at work, at least, I would say, like, like, sitting here and making sure I get my, my videos done, it's, it's crucial, because if it, if I don't, then I feel bad that I didn't do anything that day, you know, and that I just, like, didn't want to do something. <laughs> so, like, I, I feel guilty for not recording and like editing so it's become a like crucial in my routine or else I'll feel like shit so that's what I do so I wake up I like maybe eat something at least I drink some juice and then I sit here and I re like record or edit or make thumbnails or get collabs started and everything so that's that's become essential before I go to work if I if I do work like that day because mostly it's like do this in the morning and then I work 11 to 8, so. <laughs> do you like group activities or prefer doing things solo? Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know. I like cosplaying as a group. That's that's really cool when that when that does happen. Um I yeah, I prefer group activities because it's nice to get like everyone's little silliness involved, you know. So, I, I recommend, uh, group activities. What's the best gift you ever received and why? I'll give her anything my boy has given me, <laughs> but I can't find any. Oh, God. Ever received? I'm not- I don't think I've really received gifts. I've always been the one, like, to give gifts. So, like, most of the stuff around me is shit that I brought. <laughs> Did I buy this? Yeah, I bought this. I think. Yeah, I did buy this. I love my strawberry coffee donuts. Do you have games? What the fuck did you even get me? <laughs> I can't find a single goddamn thing that the camera's ever gotten me. God damn it, I feel like a shitty girlfriend. <laughs> oh my god, I just rem- Oh my, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna go get it, hold on. It's this thing. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? I got it for Christmas. <laughs> it's a fucking. I, I hope they make an official one of it, but this one is absolutely adorable. It's got a little tail and everything, so th this was the best one ever. What is a relationship deal breaker for you? Hmm. I don't know. 
Probably the guy doesn't disclose that he's actually polyamorous, but I digress. Um, <laughs> biggest fucking deal breaker. I'm trying to think. Probably, if it, probably be like if he's rude a lot, you know? Especially to random people. Like, it, it's so easy to just be nice to a random person. I I would know since I am technically in the customer service, like, line of work, so my job is to basically be nice to everyone. But, like, it, it's so easy to just, like, put on, like, the fucking, like, hello, how can I help you? Like, that, like, the stupid-ass high-pitched voice, making sure that they get everything that they need. And it's just so easy to be nice to strangers. But if, like, if... I don't know, man. That's probably a deal breaker. If they're mean to, like, the customer service people, like, waitresses and waiters and, like, the people, like, cashiers, like, poor teenagers and everything, that's a deal breaker for me. No. You can go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. <laughs> Alright, one more. What makes you feel most accomplished? Uh, with work, I kind of just, like, um, for my actual job, I feel accomplished when I actually do a good job and I feel good at the end of the night. When I'm, like, closing and I, I did all the pan up right, I, I made sure I cleaned, I got everything packaged, and I made sure I helped before I even did my closing responsibilities. So, like, if I, if I was able to help like, like, one of my co-workers, then my day hasn't been accomplished. But, like, for YouTube, I feel accomplished when I get, like, one like, <laughs> or one, like, one view. But it even makes me more happy when I, when I get a subscriber, because that means, like, someone looked at my content and they're like, this bitch is actually pretty good, let's subscribe. So that makes me feel accomplished, and I'm actually, like, someone out there, I, I might be someone's favorite YouTuber, you know? I, who knows? I might be like, like I like I grow this channel, get higher up in like subscribers and view count, and I might be that person that they talk about. They're like, "Hey, you remember this channel from when we were kids? Crazy, right?" So that's my, that's will be my accomplishment and what I feel like. Do you live by any piece of advice or motto? Uh, fuck bitches, get money, get that bread, get that head, and leave. That's what I live by. <laughs> And with that, we're gonna end it. The video, not myself. <laughs> Let me grab my little guy. He's gonna sit here with me. So, now you know a bit more about me. I hope uh, this has been helpful in some way. Hopefully I'll do another one of these pretty soon. Um, well, not pretty soon. Hopefully when I hit 100, I'll do another one of these. But at least I'll have a video to put in my trailer thing. <laughs> for like when people look at my channel so yeah I'm looking forward to that but um yeah Pokemon videos will still be on Sunday Monday Friday Saturday Wattpad's still on Tuesday and Thursdays Wednesdays is still off so I might start actually doing Wattpad stuff on Wednesdays because I'm actually starting to like it a lot <laughs> so I might who knows what happened isn't that right Mr. Cow you don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> well, my name is Phoenix, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>